good morning everyone well my suspicions were confirmed after we talked to some locals yesterday um, we could clearly see a bunch of snow up in the mountains and uh, i knew that was going to be a problem but the locals also stated that if we tried to go up in there the roads would have uh, three to four inches of mud on them making them nearly impassable on a motorcycle uh, there's just too much moisture and too much snow up there so we're going to do something different like i alluded to and we're going to make a loop through colorado wyoming montana north dakota south dakota and uh, back into nebraska before we head back across to oklahoma back to um, amarillo texas where the van and trailer are at so we're going to go on a multi-state uh, trip here and we'll see what we can find for you Given our circumstances, we came up with a plan B of what we were going to do on this trip. We decided that we would go north in Colorado, through Wyoming, into Montana and visit Roy's daughter, then go through North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska, following along the Missouri River, then back through Kansas, Oklahoma, and back to Amarillo, Texas. As we start out this morning, we're going right back downtown Trinidad, Colorado. We are heading back to the Plains section of Colorado to get away from the Interstate I-25. While going through Nebraska, we're going to stop off and see my daughter and son-in-law. And there's been big news in the Aegis Moda family in that my daughter is pregnant with our first grandchild and we're really excited. As we head northeast out of Trinidad, Colorado, we pass through sections that are close to the Comanche National Grassland. Uh, these areas comprise a very large area, and we go from some agriculture areas to where it's just ranching. We turn off the highway onto a gravel road. Despite this being a nice level area of terrain, which you would think would be populated, isn't. We passed just a few homes as we first started to get on the gravel road, but after that, it just became wide open prairie. In fact, there weren't even many cattle back in there until we got close back to the highway again. It's just wide open plains with a few fences. Even though we were heading west, we were not at a high enough elevation um, in relationship to the terrain to be able to see the front range of the Colorado Rockies.
We are now far enough away from the highway that the road is overgrown, and the only people that probably come back in here are the ranchers to check on their cattle and fences. I've been in open range many times before and so I'm pretty comfortable with cattle being on or near the roadways. We stop in the little town of Rocky Ford, Colorado to fuel up and get something to drink before heading north on State Route 71. At the crossroads of Last Chance, Colorado, the terrain changes and you start to get into hills, which is more reminiscent of Wyoming's eastern section of their high plains. Well, we're closing in on our final ride for today, and we'll be stopping at Fort Morgan, Colorado for the evening. I went and bought a map of Colorado so I could show you uh, where we're going and what route we're taking. And Colorado is a state of like two geographical differences. Right along I-25 here that runs along the Front Range, Everything west is mountainous, and everything to the east here is prairie. And we started out this morning down here at Trinidad, Colorado, and we rode up to here, and then we did some back road riding through here, and then we took State Road 71 all the way up because we were trying to stay off the interstate, and we ended up here at Fort Morgan tonight. 
Uh, tomorrow we're going to cross over into uh, Wyoming. And as soon as we do, I'll try to get a map and show you what route we took. Well, I hope you liked this video today. Um, we did have some back roads that we snuck in there, but a lot of it was on State Highway. Uh, we're trying to stay off the interstate because Mizey uh, doesn't like to go that fast. And so uh, we're just taking state routes. But tomorrow morning, we should be doing some more backcountry roads as we cross into Wyoming. Hopefully you'll like that. We'll see you tomorrow. Here we are in Fort Morgan. We had another great day. Saw lots of antelope and took a neat detour off of our travels on another dirt road. So lots of fun times we've had. Looking forward to tomorrow.